Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie, if you are new here. And every year I do a little video where I rank my palettes. I use the same categories every single year and I find it kind of fun to, you know, occasionally look back and compare, be like, what did I love last year versus what do I love this year? And just, I don't know, I find it kind of fun. So in today's video, we're gonna rank my palettes. So I have nine categories to go through. I have top twos and top threes, some repeats between categories, but not a lot. So if you guys wanna hang out and see how I would rank my palettes, then just keep on watching. All right, so the very first category is going to be my top three neutral palettes. And the very first one is the ColourPop Not A Box Of Chocolates palette. This is the most beautiful, compact, little neutral palette. It is very warm toned, so it definitely doesn't have a ton of variety between warm tones and cool tones in it, but the shimmers in here are fucking stunning. The mattes are insanely pigmented, but still really easy to work with, and it's just a beautiful palette. I love it so much. The only thing that I wish is that it kind of had that, like Too Faced vibes where it smells like chocolate, because it doesn't, but I mean, you win some, you lose some. Next up is one that is very new to my collection, but the second I tried it, I was like, that is top tier, like really hard to beat out. And that is the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. This one has definitely quite a bit of warm tones. It has some cool tones in here as well, so there is a lot of variety. The shimmers are even more insane than Not A Box Of Chocolates. The formulas are in, in here are wild. There's such a variety of textures and tones and, and just different things that just make this palette so unique. By the way, this shade right here, Rebel, I don't have another shade like it anywhere in my collection. I think that it is one of the most beautiful eyeshadow shades I have ever used. And this palette is just perfection. And last but not least, this is no surprise to anybody, the ColourPop Gone Matte Palette. So obviously this doesn't have any shimmers in it, but it has literally anything that I could ever need to create a neutral look. And I have plenty of cream shadows and super shocks that I could use to pair with this if I need a little bit of shimmer, if I want a little bit of shimmer but just warm tones, neutrals, cool tones. I did that backwards because I pointed, you know, whatever. Regardless, my point is this palette is fucking perfect. It is definitely the least pigmented out of the three that I've mentioned, but it's just so easy to work with. It just has, it has everything, it has everything. Next up is my top three colorful palettes. And the first one is the ColourPop Play It Jewel palette. There's just something about this that just does it for me. I feel like it's part of it's because tonally it's not true rainbows, whereas it's, you know, these like really rich jewel tones and it's just like, I don't know, I don't know. Something, something does it for me. Like this shade always makes me so happy. This shade makes me so happy. Like just the, the colors of them. This shimmer right here in uh, Fractal, it's fucking stunning. I love it so much. Just that it's so good. And it has a strip of neutral just in case you need it. Next up is the Beauty Bay Brights 2.0. It's not a surprise at all. This one definitely does have a lot more of that like, ow, like true rainbow shades to it. So, and, and don't get me wrong, there's jewel tone shades in here. There's pastels. There's, you got a little bit of everything in here. But when I look at this, I do genuinely think like true rainbows as opposed to whereas the other one is more jewel toned. This palette is stunning. The quality, out of this world. Literally so pigmented, so beautiful, so easy to blend, and just, just so good. And also a row of neutrals in case you need it. And then my third one is the Juvia's Place Culture Palette. This one also stands out to me as just being different because again, the shades aren't true rainbow shades. There are some true rainbow shades in here, but a lot of them are, are very different from other things. Like this like peachy color, you've got these really, really rich, riches, 
You have these really, really rich blues and greens and purples, a row of neutrals in case you need it. Just stunning. Also, the shimmers in here, like, I haven't swatched anything yet, but like, the shimmers in here are fucking divine. It's beautiful. It's perfect. It's definitely a top three colorful palette. The next category is most versatile. Versatile? Versatile. You know what I mean. And I have two. The first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 4 palette. So, I love this palette because it has both neutrals and colors. It's definitely a very pinky, girly, purpley palette, but also the neutrals in here are fucking stunning. The shimmers in here are gorgeous. You have these two shades down here, which are like unique, different type of formula where they almost look like glitters, but they're not glitters. They're just super pretty. Everything in here is just stunning. I love it so much. It's definitely one of my most versatile palettes. And on the same vein, I also have the ABH Norvina Volume 5 palette because honestly, same thing. So this one's a lot more purpley and like girly purpley, but it also has neutrals and just, just, you know, a little cool tone, a little warm tone, a little bit of everything. Like I can get so many different looks out of this palette. And again, it has those fun, like kind of glittery, but not glittery shades, really strong pops in here. It's just divine, divine, it's the word of the day. The next category is easiest to blend. And first things first, another one that is very new to my collection, but definitely a standout, and that is the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette. So super neutral, cool tones, just, but just so fucking, they blend themselves, dude. Like they're so easy to blend. Obviously why it's in this category, but just amazing. Literally, I'm not exaggerating when I say they literally blend themselves. I also have the ColourPop Your Golden Palette. And this one, again, it just like blends itself. And I think it's because like, there's just such an easy, let me create words here for a second. There's such a good variety of dark tones and light tones in here that it's so easy to just be able to take a lighter shade and use it to really blend out another one but they do all just blend so effortlessly and just ColourPop really stepped up their formula around the time that this palette came out and it's amazing and then last but not least is actually the palette that i'm wearing today and it is actually the morphe jaclyn hill volume 2 palette so morphe gets a lot of shit. so does jaclyn both rightfully so. This palette is perfect, in my opinion. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I think that this palette is fucking perfect. I get that like sunset tones aren't like in anymore, but these are my favorite reds. I love the like warm tones and the neutrals in here. Everything in here is just, it blends so easily while also being like ridiculously pigmented. Perfect, it's perfect. The next category is most inspiring. And I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet because I've already talked about both of these palettes already. The first one being the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. I just, I know it's a neutral palette, but just the textures in here, the different formulas, just something about this palette is so inspiring to me. And no, I can't do the, the biggest variety of looks, but I get so inspired to just play in makeup when I have this palette out and I love that. And additionally, the ColourPop Play It Jewel palette. Again, I think it really does just go back to the fact that they are jewel tones and so they're a little bit different than a lot of the other, other colorful shadows that I have. And strip a neutral in case you need it. Just something about it, the, the formula of the shimmers, just the formula of everything. I keep whistling when I speak. I don't know what to tell you. Just perfect. It's perfect and so inspiring to me. The next category is best shimmers. I'm going to show this one really quickly again. I don't know what to tell you, dude. The, it's, it's, listen, I'm just going to let this swatch speak for itself. Okay. 
it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. The next one is the Luna Magic Desnuda palette. And honestly, I'm going to do the same thing again and I'm going to let this swatch speak for itself. It feels like butter when I put my finger in it and it is so just like glass like. And last but not least, this is like <laughs> Pretty Grunge's little sister, the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette. Again, just fucking stunning, but I like this for a different reason. I just like how consistently good the shimmers are in this palette. I mean, in all of these ColourPop palettes that have been out recently, but just they feel like butter. Like that is a mirror. I'm sorry, but that's a mirror. I don't know what to tell you. It's perfect. I'm going to stop using that word soon, but I'm just saying. The next category is my least reached for. And the first one is the ColourPop Aurora Struck palette. This is my least reach for half of the year. It is definitely very much a winter palette to me. It's fucking beautiful, but I don't reach for this for half of the year. In the winter, in the early spring, I am all over this palette. But in the summer, it definitely just isn't the vibe. So it's definitely not a palette that I reach for all the time. And also, oh, I almost dropped it, the ABH Norvina Volume 2 palette. I keep it because I think it's good to have on hand in case I have a very specific look that I need to do. But I don't wear a lot of blues and greens, especially bright blues and bright greens like what's in here. I just don't wear a lot of it. So it's not something that I reach for often. Honestly, this palette looks nearly untouched. All right, two more categories to go. The next category is my favorite packaging, the ColourPop Aurora Struck palette. I just think that the outside of this palette is so pretty. It's just, they did such a good job on the packaging. Like, this is hands down the best ColourPop packaging out there. Sorry, I said it. This one really is like the star of the show today. <laughs> but the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge palette, I just think that's so cute. I love the splatters, I love the mirror finish on it. It's very grungy while also not being like dirty looking, but it somehow looks dirty. It's just, she did a really, really good job on the packaging. And last but not least, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 3 palette. I just think it's cute with the butterflies. The little mirrored butterflies is just really cute and I enjoy it. And then last but not least, I have three honorable mentions. Palettes that I love for whatever reason, but they just didn't quite make the cut for one of the other categories. The first palette is the ColourPop Truly Madly Deeply palette. I have owned this palette for so long. To be honest with you, I probably need to just buy a new one, but if they still even sell it, but it's just perfect and I love it and it's so cute and you're making noises now. Next up is a classic and it is the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. Just, I love peachy tones and this is just the perfect little peachy palette and I really like ColourPop palettes, guys. Last but not least is the ColourPop Enchanted palette. This is also stunning packaging, just saying. Bitch, it's just so pretty. And this has got amazing formulas in it too, like this shade up here. Both of these two top shades are just the coolest shimmers. Like they're so pretty and they're glittery and they're just shiny and just perfect and yeah. That is going to wrap up my 2024 palette ranking. Comment down below with your palette ranking. I would love to, if you want to follow along, do the same categories. By all means, fill up the comments. If you want to just tell me what your favorite palettes are, I would love to hear that as well. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. La, la.